ultimate warrior, biggest, most iconic, energetic, powerful, memorable characters. I know you, and you know I know you. You know that I know the real, what kind of malicious and backstabbing operator you are. From the late 1980s to the early 90s, The Ultimate Warrior was one of the most popular stars in the World Wide Wrestling Federation. While he enjoyed success as a two-time Intercontinental Champion and one-time WWF Champion, he was also one of the most controversial figures in wrestling, both in and outside the ring. The Ultimate Warrior has made many enemies within the wrestling world due to his controversial antics. Let's see who they are. Number 10. Hulk Hogan Everyone knows that Hulk Hogan wasn't the biggest fan of The Ultimate Warrior. This feud began at WrestleMania 6, when Warrior beat Hogan clean to win the world title. This was mainly due to Hogan wanting to be the top guy and was frustrated that he was essentially being replaced, so much so that years later in WCW, he brought Warrior in simply to get a win back over him. This resulted in Warrior and Hogan having public barbs at one another over the next few years, clearly showing their disdain for one another. It was a different time. Hogan was the guy. Never dropped the belt that way. Where you and Hogan ended up in the ring. Every opportunity can to criticize what I did in the business. Number 9. Bret Hart in his autobiography, Bret Hart spoke about his hatred for the Ultimate Warrior. He recounted a story in which Warrior failed to meet a Make-A-Wish child backstage. A whole host of other wrestlers met the child, however the child waited for Warrior all night, but he no-showed. As a result, Hart called Warrior a coward, weakling, and phony hero for this horrible act. Clearly Hart hates Warrior, and this incident pushed him over the edge and Warrior in an interview singled out Bret Hart by name and claimed that he reached the pinnacle of the industry while his hard-working, wrestling-loving peers did not. Hogan, at least, he was our champion. And Warrior, that's not the same thing. Number 8. Bobby Heenan Heenan held disdain for Warrior as he was not a wrestler and only joined the wrestling business as he thought it was easy money and he had the look that Vince McMahon preferred. He recalled an incident in WCW where he was booked to be attacked by the Warrior. In the back, Heenan expressly told him not to hit with a clothesline as he was suffering from a bad neck. In defiance of this, Warrior did exactly what Heenan told him not to. He hit the former manager with a clothesline, which pretty much doubled the risk to his already injured neck. When Heenan confronted backstage about it, Warrior said he didn't know where he was going to be, whatever that means. Jim Ross, a longtime friend of Heenan, stated that Warrior was the only person Heenan did not get along with, as he was just not a good guy. In Heenan's eyes, Warrior was not a wrestler and he was just disrespectful overall. He also took shots at his athletic ability and said that once the bell rang, it was all over for the Warrior. Of course, Warrior responded to these comments, cursing Heenan and implied he never confronted him about the clothesline. Look at this beautiful goal. There's nothing you can do about it. And I plan to keep it as long as I'm alive. Number 7. Buff Bagwell Buff Bagwell says the Ultimate Warrior rarely spoke to WCW wrestlers backstage during his short spell with the company. Don't really know him, but what I've ever met of him I didn't like because he just was the guy that got his own room and didn't eat with the boys at catering, Bagwell said. He was a big star and we weren't. Even Hogan would come out and eat with us and stuff, hang with us. I didn't like because he just was, he was the guy in you know, own room and didn't eat with the boys at catering. Big star and we wasn't. Number 6. Andre the Giant Towards the end of his career, Andre the Giant was in a lot of pain and could barely move. However, he continued to wrestle and was doing the job for Warrior on house shows. The favor wasn't returned from Warrior as Andre complained of him being extremely stiff in the ring. With the pain Andre was in, this was a spiteful thing for Warrior to do. As a result, Andre made sure he got revenge by putting his fist out and knocking Warrior out cold after he went for the clothesline spot. Number 5. Triple H At WrestleMania 12, Triple H was facing off with the Ultimate Warrior. It ended up being a squash match for Warrior not selling a pedigree before beating Triple H. The game was furious with this reportedly calling Warrior unprofessional. However, in recent years, Triple H has praised the Ultimate Warrior and thanked him for the Mania match. Clearly, Triple H has buried the hatchet due to Warrior's death, although it was clear he did not like him when they worked together. Triple H spoke about being linked to the Warrior during their first encounter 20 years ago and being reconnected right before his untimely death in April 2014. It was a mind-boggling situation to me, Triple H told Coach about their history. Knowing where it ended up, with his passing and everything because we didn't know each other and it was an odd beginning. We didn't get along necessarily. Ultimate Warrior, biggest, most iconic, energetic, powerful.
powerful, memorable characters. Number four, Rick Rude. Rick Rude against the Ultimate Warrior was a classic rivalry that defined the late 80s and early 90s just as the WWE was looking for a new star to replace Hulk Hogan. While these two had contrasting personalities and some serious friction between the two men went down due to different professional outlooks, they produced some great matches during a time frame that it needed an antidote to the Hogan era of dominance. Rick Rude and the Ultimate Warriors rivalry began a few years earlier in 1986 in the renamed World Class Championship Wrestling. Accounts state that Warrior was working stiff in the ring and Rude was not impressed, but being the professional, he dealt with it in the back. After Warrior had commented that he was the Warrior and he could work stiff if he wanted. This ultimately led to an encounter after the match with Warrior being KO'd by Rude, a legit tough guy who was notorious for starting and ending fights. Because of this incident, it is claimed Hulk Hogan refused to work with Rude at any point in the future, citing he was dangerous. This may have ultimately capped Rude's future progress in the WWE. Number 3. Jake the Snake Roberts Hall of Famer Jake Roberts revealed how Warrior once insulted him in his dressing room when he went to ask for a shot at the WWE Championship. Vince McMahon personally told Jake the Snake Roberts to talk to the Ultimate Warrior. McMahon wanted Warrior's go-ahead to begin a program between the Snake and Warrior for the WWE Championship. However, their encounter didn't go as Roberts thought it would. Roberts recounted Warrior's dressing room incident. The Snake said he wasn't too thrilled with the idea of asking Warrior permission to work with him and was upset at the way the former WWE Champion reacted. I went to his locker room and knocked, and he cut a promo on my ass told me he didn't care about me, he didn't care about my family, and if he's going to work with me, I had to be on fucking time. I had to be sure not to miss any shots, and I better not fuck no damn drug test, yada yada yada. He just ran the riot act, never did look at me in the eyes, just stomped around the room in a circle, back and forth, marching around. I'm like, okay, then he goes, okay, get out. He dismissed me. Number 2. Psycho Sid Psycho Sid quit WWE because of the Ultimate Warrior. That on its own says a lot about their rivalry. This was due to Warrior taking full control over how their matches went with him obviously looking strong. As a result, Sid was furious with that as he was ignored and forced to go with Warrior's ideas instead. He told WWE that if this happened again then he would quit. Then the next night came and the same finish happened with Warrior looking strong again, resulting in Sid leaving the company. Number 1. Kevin Nash Kevin Nash once challenged WWE Hall of Famer The Ultimate Warrior to a fight on Twitter. He recently revealed Warrior's baffling and hilarious response to the challenge. Nash and Warrior seemingly never crossed paths in the wrestling industry, having only worked in the same company briefly when Warrior joined WCW in 1998. However, back in 2012, the two engaged in a brief but intense war of words on social media, which was kickstarted by Warrior insulting Nash. The WWE legend recently spoke about the incident with co-host Sean Oliver on the Click This podcast. Kevin disclosed that he made the challenge on Twitter while high, and Warrior took several days to formulate his response. That was all, folks. Subscribe for more content. See you next time.